My name is Opti, and I'm the Opportunity Guardian. This is my home, the Opportunity Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai. This place is amazing. Look at the floor. The floor tiles are made of baked clay to represent the earth, and the see-through metal shapes up there look like clouds. I've come to introduce you to people who have found an opportunity to do something good for their community and make the world a better place. Me too. I would like to find my own opportunity as well. How about you? Maybe they can help us. Come on, let's look inside. Opportunities must be in here somewhere. Wow, it's so dark in this village. Mama Fatma grew up in a place like this. She's my first opportunity friend. Her village was on the island of Zanzibar in the Indian Ocean. Most people in her village didn't have electricity, so after sunset, all the houses were dark. People couldn't work, study, or even enjoy a meal with their families. The only light came from kerosene lamps, which was very expensive. The fumes smell horrible and can harm your health. <coughs> but although the village had no electricity, it had lots of sunshine. When she grew up, Mama Fatma saw that this was a big opportunity. She trained to become a solar panel engineer and helped everyone in the village to install solar panels on the roofs of their houses. So now, they are able to collect and store energy from the power of the sun. Over 100 homes in the village have electric light after sunset. So, Ruzma, the student, can do her schoolwork in the evenings. Haji, the fisherman, can get his fish ready to be sold in the morning market. Fatma, the dressmaker, can work in the evenings to make more money for her family. And Mama Fatma is now teaching others how to become solar engineers too. So, Mama Fatma found her opportunity with the sun. She gave her community the light and energy they needed to change their lives. I'd love to stay here longer and find out more about what Mama Fatma and her friends have done. But I still want to find my own opportunity. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <laughs> Hey, I'm soaking wet. Can anyone see my opportunity? I'm looking for Abel Cruz. He found his opportunity in the clouds, like this one over here. There's Abel now. He lives in Peru, South America. When he was a child, he had to walk for miles every day to fetch water for his family and their farm. When he grew up, 
he moved to the city of Lima. He found that millions of people didn't have clean water to drink or wash with. No water, but what they did have were lots of big wet clouds that came down to the ground. So Abel asked himself, what if I had an opportunity to turn the water in the clouds into water that people could use? His brilliant idea was to put up fog collectors. They are big mesh nets with a collecting trough underneath. When the fog rolls in, the tiny water droplets collect on the mesh and drip down into the trough. Did you know that each net on the fog collector can catch between 300 to 400 liters of fresh water every day? That's a lot of water. Water changes lives. So now, farmers have water for their crops and for their animals. Families have the water they need to drink and wash and enough left over to grow vegetables. And people who had left the village because there was no water moved back home again. Abel found his opportunity in the clouds and gave people hope for a better future. <sighs> That's inspiring, but I still haven't found my own opportunity. Let's keep looking. It might be easier to look for my opportunity if I were a bit taller. Here's Mariam al Junaybi. Maybe she can help me. She's an Emirati and an expert on how we can grow our food without using chemicals that harm the planet. Her organic farm shows people about healthy eating and how they can be farmers too. <laughs> Even if it's only on their own balcony. So, there's an opportunity for everyone to improve their food, their health and their lives. Mariam found her opportunity with these growing plants. Abel found it in the clouds, and Mama Fatma found her opportunity in the sun. Oh, but I still can't find my own opportunity. Opportunity? Hmm. Look inside. I can't see anything here. It's no good. I've looked inside the Opportunity Pavilion everywhere. Unless... Wait a moment. Maybe it means... Look inside yourself. Yes, that's it. Finding an opportunity to make a difference through your own action. That's how Abel... Mama Fatma and Mariam did it. Opportunity is the power of small actions in order to make a big change. Find something you really care about and then make a promise to do it. Each and every one of us can do that. Hundreds of people and communities are working together to change the world. Together, we can do so much and create a better future for everyone. I'm going to make my promise now. <laughs> Look, everyone, finally I found my opportunity. 